boxing once more. Again, over three two-minute rounds of action. Stu Cole from the local Spartans gym in the blue corner versus Archie Gould from the Battle Barn in the red. And a stiff jab from Gould to start this back. Nice movement as well, upper body movement from the red corner as Cole pushes forward. Tight right hand from Gould. Stiff right reply from Cole. Measured start from both young men here. Nice right hand from Gould as Cole comes forward. Cole's got to watch that as he commits. Gould looking to work the body and head as Cole comes forward. It's that right hand that's the danger for Stu Cole as he comes forward to do his own work. Gould rolls and throws that right hand. There's the danger. He's waiting for that lead from Cole. There's the right hand again and Cole's got to get round that. Got to keep that left hand really tight. Push it out and quickly bring it back because Gould's waiting for the opportunity to throw that right over the top. Cole probing with his jab now. Looking to commit Gould and reply himself this time. Gould coming in with the double jab. Both men just out of range with that exchange. Doubles up the jab again, Gould as he comes forward. Probes to the body with the left this time, Gould, measured work. Last 10 seconds of a very cagey opening round from these two young men. The right just misses from Gould, the left of the body lands and then they start to mix it again. Good opening round from both, but you feel that the red corner, Archie Gould from the Battle Barn, did the better work of the two, the cleaner across that opening round. And that right hand is a danger that Stu Cole will have to come to terms with in the second as he starts his own offensive. Round two of three, last words of advice from Romela da Silva in Stu Cole's corner. And there's that right hand again of Gould that comes over the top. Cole took it well, but he doesn't want to keep taking them. And it comes in again as Cole pushes forward to do his work. And again, Gould looking to land it as Cole comes forward. You've got to say, Cole's got a strong chin. But he needs to keep that hand high, change his timing so that he catches Gould, who's, who's just the quicker to pull the trigger at the moment, Gould. It's just a split-second difference between the two, but it can be vital. And it's proving so here. Gould is the one with that split second timing just in the ascendancy across the two rounds so far. And there's that right hand. Cole took it well again, but it's the danger shot. You, if it lands clean on the point of the chin, that's the night over. But as it is, Stu Cole has taken two, not complained, and it hasn't even looked as if it's rocked him. Tough, tough young man from the Spartans boxing. But again, Gould in control of this second round, as I felt he was the first. So Cole looking to lead again with that left. Wary of the right-hand reply from Gould as he walks Cole down now. 
Nice little right hand on the inside from Cole this time. Best shot of the bout so far from him. Has to do a lot more of that to get back in this. And you heard Roma say, I need more, and he's dead right. That's what it is, more of that shot like that came in. It's just not enough across these two rounds. His coach Roma knows it. Nice little shot to the body again. Nice little right to the head from Cole. Woke up in the last 30 seconds of that second round, but he's still two rounds down. Third and final round, Cole needs a big one. Gould pushing forward now. Doubles up with the jab. Cole looking to catch him on the way in. Better work from Cole here in the third. Timing good on the counter. And again, double shot to the body, looking for the right hand over the top, Gould. Cole slipped that one, but pulled his chin up on the way out. He's got to address that when he steps back. He's got to tuck that chin down. Especially if he's gone back in a straight line like that, the chin's got to tuck down as Gould comes forward. I mean, he's shown he's, he's got a strong chin. He's taken two very good right hands in each of the rounds and not blinked. So we know the boy's strong. So Roma calling on Stu Cole to get the combinations going. And again, you can see him. He's waiting now to see if he can lure Gould on. Now the right hand landed clean. Again, second clean right hand from Stu Cole across this bat. You see he's got the ability as well. Gould looking to come forward again now after being stung by that right hand. And again, Cole lands it once more. Best round of the bout so far for Stu Cole as he lands the right hand for a second time in this round. His timing's better here in the third. And Cole walking forward, a bit more confidence about his work now. So last 10 seconds, and Gould looking to try and finish this round strongly. But for me, Cole's best round of the three so far, landed with clean right hands of his own. I don't think it's going to be enough, but it shows that the young Spartans boxer has got real potential. Thank you. 